Hey, this is Pastor Ryan with your Wednesday watering. I am here with Tom at the bike shop. Uh, Tom, you do an amazing job leading this uh, ministry. I thank you for your leadership in this. Proud of you and the amazing things that go on here. Uh, if you've never been here before, this is amazing. You ought to come check it out and see the work that goes on here. Uh, I, t let's start off, Tom. I know there are some uh, guys working behind us here, and I have heard yep. you say before that the volunteers are the lifeblood of this ministry. So tell me a little bit about okay. these guys working. And Well, the volunteers are the lifeblood. We have Rick, David, and Larry that are here today, and normally we have several others. Um, we expect to see Mitchell Wood Woodkey today. Uh, he comes over after school, and there's a couple others. Uh, notably missing is Jim Rogner, who's getting uh, his ankle repaired, but uh, we're waiting for him to get better, so... And praying, so. Amen. Yep. So I know we, as a church, we've got these uh, values and, um, you know, all the ministry leaders that lead teams do, let me grab this, have done these. So you ministry leaders know what that looks like. And so, Tom, there's these things that we all hold to, like prayer and leadership yes. and love. So I know those are things that, that happen here at the bike ministry. You know? They are. We start with a prayer and then we get into our ministry here, which is fixing bikes. And let's talk about that fixing bikes because... Um, I'm always amazed at the number of bikes that have been repaired and distributed. It, it's earth shattering when you hear those numbers. It's amazing. <laughs> it is. Know? It is. Give us the numbers. Well, we've given out 327 bikes approximately. <laughs> and uh, we, we are now up to 476 bikes that we've fixed. Uh, that's awesome. And we have about uh, 125 bikes here that are ready to be fixed. And in the shop right now, waiting to go to New Heart Church, uh, we have 82 bikes sitting around us here. You see some in front of us here and many around the shop. So we've got plenty of bikes to work on, but we're still looking for some smaller bikes, like 12-inch wheels up to about 18-inch wheels. So there is a need for some smaller bikes yet. So uh, I, we continue to do that um, bike distribute, that big one that we do at New Heart. But you guys have also yeah. been involved in other things, too. Like I've seen lately, um, I saw you and Larry were up at the library doing yes. a... Uh, tell me a little bit about what you guys did at the library. Well, we were invited to Wixom Library to do a presentation to some mentally challenged people from the community. And they had 44 people there for a... Uh, review of what we were doing here in the bike shop. They just wanted to know a little bit about what we do. You've, so we explained it. Yeah, and you've, I've, you've done stuff in Bridgeport, same yes. sort of thing, like yes. how we to had, fix a bike? Had a couple training sessions last spring in Bridgeport at the library there. There's been some amazing stories along the road. Like I remember uh, the kid from uh, Ukraine when yes. Uh, yes. he was refugee over here and yes. provided a bike yeah, for him. Yeah, a couple from, uh, from Caro sponsored a family from the Ukraine. Uh, husband and wife and their 10-year-old son, Leo. And Leo needed a bike. And they were refugees, just came over here, uh, had nothing to start with, and uh, so we got him a bike. And uh, saw a video after that of the bike with him riding on it, and it was really touching to know that we've done that. And we've had people, uh, Bridgeport Township Hall, where I work, I had somebody come in and say, well, there's a homeless guy out here that needs a bike. So I found out what he needed, we got him a bike, and uh, took a few pictures of yeah. that. So, that's a, you know, I, we... Uh, reminds me of, my, my wife works for a nonprofit in Bay City. There was right. a person there that needed a job, that, and they, but they couldn't get there because they didn't have transportation. Um, she got a hold of you. Yes. You, you guys provided a bike, and then she was able to get that person transportation for their job. Yes. There's just kind of yes. these stories that are... Yeah. Uh, they keep unfolding. Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. A, it's really yeah. cool. It's, it's really... Uh, interesting to know that we've helped people besides the children and adults in Saginaw that need bikes because there are people right here in our community that probably can't afford a bike and could use one so um, there's a story behind each bike that goes out there's a person that receives that bike yes. you know and uh, yes okay yes. so this is good stuff I'm enjoying this Tell, yes. what am I missing what do you else you well, want to share today I certainly want to throw out a, a thank you to Tom and Mary Johnson uh, their uh, their business corporation owns this building and they donate it to us. We have lights, we have heat, um, we have uh, Wi-Fi because the neighbors in the other end of the building provide that. So we've got everything we need, yeah, that's except a, uh, one. We could use more volunteers. <laughs> yeah, there you go. <laughs> and um, we've had a slide on the on the uh, t uh, 
at, at church uh, about that, uh, looking for volunteers. And some people have said, well, I don't know anything about fixing bikes. Well, you don't need to. We are, we're open to teaching you. That's what I do a lot of. Um, and several of the ones here, Larry and Rick, are both adept at it. Um, so we can teach you. People wonder about working from 10 to 4. Well, a lot of these guys come in for a morning or an afternoon. So it's not a whole day thing. Every Wednesday. You Every guys are Wednesday down here. from 10 yeah. to 4. And usually we're here till 5 if Mitchell comes over from school. Um, we like to, we'd like to have some more kids involved. Yeah. I know um, the whole youth group has come before yeah, and checked yep, it out. Um, yeah, they have. Yeah. So. What else are we missing? Uh, gosh, I think that covers most of my, uh, my points. Um, we do have a mission statement, and some of the things we're going to be looking at are to reach out to a little bit more of the community at some point, uh, probably Saginaw Rescue Mission or the Christian Outreach. In Saginaw, both of them uh, have adults. They could use bikes, and so when we get all these kids' bikes fixed up and some youth bikes, then we're going to start moving into repairing some of the adult bikes that uh, that will be usable for people that need them for transportation. Yeah. And that, you know, we're open to that anytime. Somebody needs a bike to get to. Uh, one guy needed a bike to get to Taco Bell where he was working, and they had one car, and she needed it to work. So we got him a bike. And we can fix a bike up with a rack on the back or lights or whatever they need to, uh, to make their job work. So. I always love coming here. It's exciting. Um, thank you for your ministry. Thank you for your You're passion welcome. and heart for this and the making of disciples in the midst of it. Thank all you guys back there working hard. Appreciate your ministry in this. And thank you, church, for supporting this ministry. Uh, we couldn't do what we do without you. Anything before we close? Just thank you. Thanks for all the donations. A special thank you again for Walter David, who donated his uh, wood shop that we, uh, I forgot that earlier. Yeah, that was um, a big Donated big gift. the proceeds from his wood shop that uh, generated a substantial amount of money for our program. So. Amen. We love Very you. Very good. And we'll see you on Sunday.